suck you. There's a few people here in the front. Nothing but people at the back. We actually can see you. This is not television. The crowd is wild. Theater is talking. Oh, okay. Arp. Sorry. I just derailed my entire train of thought. <laughs> Just to please the second room! <laughs> Uh, shall we bring Ryan to the stage, or just yeah. do the show without him? Yeah, we'll bring him down. Oh, okay. <coughs> On the count of three, yell, hey, Ryan! And then I'll bring him to the stage, and then you cheer for him, and away we go. Hey, one, two, three, here we go. Hey, Ryan! And then you cheer for him. Woo! Yeah! Excellent. Hello. How you doing, man? Hello. You're all I'm bundled up. You look, you're the man in black today. You look like you know. <laughs> I saw the word. <laughs> you really are like are you I'm hallucinating. Are you on cold medicine? <laughs> what? Are you on cold medicine? Like a hop up on day yeah, day. I'm a, I'm on day cool, yeah. Okay, cool. It's gonna be a very interesting show then. Would you like to hold my penis during the show? <laughs> Maybe you have to wave it around at appropriate times. There you go. Oh it goes in your shirt too. Alright. Yeah. And my beer. And your beer. Goes with your yeah, penis and beer always go together. <laughs> Still so one and the other, and other and we should probably do what? like a litmus test for the parents because they, I think there's, there's, still, a lot of kids there's still a lot of kids here and they're wondering like, oh, it can't be that dirty, right? Yeah. yeah. What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? I don't know what. I see at least four faces of adult that didn't get that joke. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're missing out. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your partners. Yeah, Shoot fly. Don't bother me. <laughs> hey, wait, are you videotaping us? Yes. Let's see. Okay, because like just video the screen. Yeah, it's the wrong just the crotch. Yeah. It's okay, below the waist is fine. Well, yeah, but like the screen is there. How's that work? No. Why is he screaming below the waist? Oh, no, that's the back. Oh, yes. that's the back of it. You've just got a weird, you've got a really strange. And I'm the one who's Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So meanwhile, you're gonna have this video of, of the action going. Oh, hey. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Oh, watch this! Watch this strange device. You have small men from Flanders painting pictures within your. Oh, oh I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we don't try to stay interior. Put that on YouTube. Sound interior idiots. Yeah. <laughs> right next to like a billion other videos. Yes. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought there was more kids, but it was just very tiny ladies. Yeah. <laughs> tiny ladies. Hello and welcome. We have two seats right here in the front for you. Right oh, there. Come on. Here in the back. Fool me once. Shame on me. Yeah. Now, the thing is, the third row is the splash zone. They're, they're going to miss all Yeah, we can, we can totally put... Oh, that's right. 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 I like the, uh, the not girly girls who are just staring daggers at us. They're sitting back to like row seven. You still should still leave. It's just going to warp your brains forever. Later. Right, come back to our kid show, Rumble Foreskin. No! <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't let us do that show anymore. Yeah. It was a very touching show, though. Uh, <laughs> emotionally. <laughs> is it a hands on <laughs> show? Yeah. A lot of audience interaction. Though. The script is written in Braille. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the show you're about to see is audience participatory in nature, in that when you see the hero of the show, we want you to let forth with a loud and lusty cheer like this! Woo! Ah, pretty sucky still, actually. We, we need your energy, to, to be, especially for him, because he's sick. So, a loud and lusty cheer like this! Woo! And when you see the villain of the show, we want you to let forth with a loud and lusty boo like this. Boo! boo. That one you're good at. Boy, that that one is right. Right. So you have seen this before, is what you're saying. <laughs> but most importantly, when you hear the name of evil queen Hernia, we want you to turn your head and cough like this. <coughs> right, we're going to try it all together. Oh, look, it's evil queen Hernia. <coughs> evil queen Hernia? <coughs> yes, the queen. <laughs> You gotta pay attention, it's out of Have you seen us before? Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Many times. This is my first time sitting. Oh, that's why. Right. Oh, it's a whole different experience. It's a whole different experience. I didn't notice. Yeah, you get the whole side. Are you the people ready for a show? Woo! Are you ready to get dirty? Yeah! Are you ready to get nasty? Woo! Are you ready to feel ready? Yeah! Well, he's right down here in the front. 
don't know, so give him a good squeeze. He loves that guy. Glad you came, Randy. What? He's back in here. Oh. <laughs> My lords and ladies, we are Sound and Fury, and today it is our precise particular pleasure to perform this popular Pangean presentation upon this pristine pleasure platform, William Shakespeare's most famous tragedy, Testicles and the Sack of Rue. Thank you. Two people. That's too late. But lo, this seven-hour masterpiece shall be presented in its entirety without no, no, admission. No, 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 fact, no, no, the no, we're not doing the long version. I can't last seven hours. I can't even last five minutes. Aww. I thought we'd give him a real treat, though. Show them what theater is all about. Not a chance. He's got a blonde, a bourbon, and a bottle of glitter backstage, so. <laughs> and now I got a date at the petting zoo. What? Oh. With a girl. Oh. <laughs> And her sister. Oh. Oh. Who's a llama? Ah. Oh. I'll ram you. Well, how about we just do the attention deficit version there? Got it done. But ho! Woo! This seven hour masterpiece <laughs> shall be performed with full frontal crudity. <laughs> Your turn. Part <laughs> being in the front row. <laughs> We shall perform this compressed, squeezed, and distilled down to a concise 20 minutes. Ooh. Impossible, you say! Impossible! Ridiculous, you exclaim! Ridiculous! 20 minutes, you ejaculate! 20 wow. minutes! Is that possible? If they start now. <laughs> All right. Ready, go! Down the hall, Randy. Walk around. You gotta pace yourself, Randy. Timing is everything. Lady, you can close your program. You're in the right place. <laughs> no, really. Because there's nothing more rude than sitting in the front row of the show. What, what else, else can I, can I see? see right now besides this? Yes, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> close the program! Here's yeah. that lovely dead bomb, man. Huh? Yeah. Dead you're, you're really you're just going to sit there and read the program, are you? <laughs> she has no Mom, name. come on! <laughs> All right. But first, to introduce the players, to my right a fine fellow, an excellent regime, and the man who put the anus and entertain us. <laughs> hey, I was young and I needed the money, all right? <laughs> Those and ladies, I give you Mr. Philip McCrack. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody really liked that joke. Are you a Dickens scholar, madam? <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> She's an expert in Dickens. May I have some more, sir? <laughs> you want some more Dickens? Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's really troubling when the ten-year-old is laughing. I can't see no. <laughs> Parents, we're, good luck. We're going to just start defining every arcane word in this show if you don't take those kids away from here. Vagina. <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> Vaginal orgasm. What? <laughs> She's like, what? They have those? <laughs> go home, go on Google, type in goatsy, and then just... Oh, <laughs> no. Two girls, one show. <laughs> 
I think it's okay. We're losing other, we're losing adults on this one. Oh, no! I know they have a kid. They have a kid. Hey, good parenting. Yeah. Woo! That's what good parents look like. Maybe you should ask him child services and foster her. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no, they're just sitting there watching. <laughs> Alright, showtime. Here we go. Double time. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> that guy's funny. Like, oh, they're doing something. Oh, look, they're coordinated movement. Prologue. <laughs> <laughs> <Roll on. laughs> and... Really? <laughs> now, cut the preview presented short to form the two tormentors that it was writ. By a master, but we are well presented to you, faster. This disaster, la 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 la. The tragic play of testing leaves with trials brought him to his knees. The son of the queen, ooh, evil master, who sent him on a quest while well, she got plastered, cause he surpassed her. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> And Testicles of ancient Greece who thought his mother quite obese and serves to glow for golden fleece from Athens to the dry Tunis if only for a short release of mother's mother with muskies until the last of rest in peace. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Our hero loves and battles hard while hoisted by his own petard and killing the queen when he gassed her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but Testicles is not so long it'll last her. Sorry, bastard. Thank you. One, scene one. Behold the court of Macedonia, where the evil queen has no before you. By testicles, her bastard son, she does not like to be outdone, for he was faster, stronger, smarter, and unlike her, a smelly farter. <laughs> Enter the villain! <laughs> and now, enter Anus! Woo! <laughs> Aeneas! <laughs> Sorry, too Malone. <laughs> Enter Aeneas, King of Greehass! <laughs> <laughs> so be my queen, you called to me? Yes, husband. I fear I lose the love of the people. Your bastard son tested these girls larger. Has? In popularity. I refuse to be eclipsed by him while they leave the race of the monument. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start that lower tier? <laughs> I can't I'm trying to make it impressive. Like a choke tower. <laughs> oh, worry not, my love. No testicles is penetrated. The wills of the people, they, like me, love you most. And most. And I'll wish out. No, I see the way they look at him, and this I will not tolerate. <laughs> Then she will rip him limb from limb, and a new son we shall procreate. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Procreate means have sex. <laughs> <laughs> and lo, Pelopia hatched a plot and hired an assassin to kill her son out in the street where he was just a passing. Enter Scrupulous, the assassin. <laughs> 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 I shall crack his noble heart. Each new he passes by this way. I'll bag that testicles this very day. Oh, I should hide first. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Uh, 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 wait, Halloween? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he comes. Cruel, loyal, 
<laughs> a moil is a person who performs circumcisions. That's where they cut off the, the tip of your penis. <laughs> Just. <laughs> during the show. <laughs> 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 Very well, then my weapon in hand I'll take and beat you off for goodness sake. <laughs> Now here, he's representing 
that these are, are Trojans, which is another name for a brand of condom. <laughs> condoms, are, condoms are what? Thank you. <laughs> condoms are what you would make your boyfriend wear if you hate him. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are the extras we hired for the show? I'm going to give all the money to Ryan. Oh, that's right. Ryan! Oh, nice. What did you do with the money? Uh, I lost it. Yeah. <laughs> totally misunderstood the concept. Right <laughs> bottom first. Ah, <laughs> you know what are we supposed to do? Well, we can ask the audience. To cockfight? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gotta be our Trojan army. Well, that's a great idea. Okay, what we're gonna need from you then is a loud Trojan army kind of yell like this. <laughs> now you try. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, don't forget to use your tongue because it's a French Trojan army. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Captain! Shwing. Hey, now! Ah! <laughs> 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 Come Trojans!
Alicia was a blowjob. <laughs> Now, the weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed, the mouth of the curtain of the fearless crew, the penis would be lost, everybody. The penis would be lost. What are you doing? I got that thing to say penis, you know, it's five bucks. <laughs> Guys, this isn't dramatic enough. No shit. <laughs> Don't say shit in front of the KIDS. <laughs> now, we're going to need your help to convey the turbulence of the ocean. Yeah. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh, look, get this on your camera. Oh, two, three. Oh, look, 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 Oh, 
them to the queen, as swift as swallow flies, there to dispose this treasure in mine arms. For though she be my father's wedded wife, she is no kin of mine, and so must I. Oh, oh sending me to kill my natural blood, I'll see to tonight. She rests in mud. Come! Thank you. And now, the climax of our show. Yeah. Act five. <laughs> it's a Roman numeral. <laughs> performers sincerely does depend upon your kind and generous contributions. So if you enjoyed the show, and like these two guys sneaking out of the back right now, uh, <laughs> come back afterwards and throw some cash in our bags. Something easily divisible by three would be great, because we suck at math. <laughs> but we don't want to leave you on that note. The real reason we do this is not for the money. It's for your laughter and for your applause, and for that we thank you very much for being here. You guys are totally lost. Thank you. <laughs> Then again, we can't get our landlord at the end of the month and say, Hey, great apartment! <laughs> and now it's time to plug the poster girl! Woohoo! Woo! Yeah! Now, now I know, right? Now, lords and ladies, for those of you who do donate five dollars or more to Santa Fury, you get your choice of two of these five fabulous, frameable, collectible posters to... Grease! It be the word! Discreet midwives! Testicles! And a sack of room! Which you just saw. <laughs> the pseudo sequel prequel, Testicles Descending. It's our brand new show. We are doing that at 4.30 this afternoon. We also have uh, color posters to our touring shows, Doc Faustus, as well as Hitchcock. Like Richard said, for a $5 donation, you can choose any two of these six posters. 
And we have more than just these six, we have like a hundred of them. Yeah, it's not just these, yeah. We also have DVDs available to four of our shows. Testicles in the Sack of Rome, Hamlet and Juliet, which we do in the mornings. Both of those shows we filmed on this stage the last year. They're brand new, full length, with extras and backstage stuff and all kinds of fun things. And two of our world touring shows, Doc Faustus, which is our Western parody, and Spaceship Man, which is our sci-fi parody. And I'm saying this just for the people who haven't seen us. Uh, we took those shows to the second largest theater festival in the entire world, and out of 900 shows competing in Adelaide, Australia, we won the People's Choice Award. We tell you that just so you know they don't suck. Yeah. <laughs> For a $20 dollar donation, you get one absolutely free. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, lastly, we have the penis. Where's the other one go? It's over there. Oh, it's over there. That's right. You it's on the like ground. That's, I, I hear that. Uh, we have the penis banners. These are ten dollars each. They come in uh, several different styles and colors and whatnot. So come down and see our lovely poster girl. She'll be over here at the corner of the stage. You bring her money. She gives you swag. We do this because we are merchandising whores. <laughs> now, all we need to do to perform this encore to test this in the sack of rope is the suggestion of a language other than English. Anything other than English. Anything. <laughs> Something other than Klingon. I hear that every single time. Klingon? Klingon and Valley Girl. Valley Girl. Alright, I think we've got some great suggestions here. We're going to put it to a vote. Uh, yeah, we haven't done that one in a long time. So, uh, you've never done that? Well, then it has been a long time since we've done it. Uh, Alright, by sound of applause, if you'd like to hear it in. Uh, Gaelic. In Gaelic! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, Christ! What the hell is that sitting next to you? <laughs> what are you talking about, Richard? I don't see anything. Alright. Oh, you... It just scared me, that's all. <laughs> oh, that is two of them. It's a sea cat. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, that's a sea cat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so that was Gaelic. If you'd like to hear it in Klingon. <laughs> or if you'd like to hear it in Valley Girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, German it is. <laughs> we hope to satisfy each and every one of you individually after the show, starting with you, stunt double. But today's encore to Testicles in the Sack of Rome will be performed entirely in Folly Girl. 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 Like, oh, wow. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you saying this? No, no. Sorry, I'm stumbling. No, who are you? Who the fuck are you? I'm the one that's dating Richard Gabrario. Richard Gabrario's dirty. Who is who? He's not a good boyfriend. Who, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Tell him who we are. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sure. It was, he said it was like this long, but it only turned out to be this long. Let me see the match of my lipstick. <laughs> my lipstick's green. Uh, you're a slut. You're a slut. You are. Get out of here.
we get up and go, we just like to say that if we brought a smile to your face, <laughs> to your heart, <laughs> and a twinkle to your eye, well, <laughs> give us money. No. <laughs> Seriously, game, this really is what we do for a living. We write and produce these shows, take them around the world, trying to keep this form of vaudeville theater alive. So if you did enjoy the show, do come down and throw some cash in our bags. Now, if you're wondering what's an appropriate amount to donate to a show you've just been laughing your ass off at for about an hour, we have a handy dandy sliding scale you're more than welcome to use, should you so desire. And it goes like this. One dollar means, I saw the show. Five dollars means, I like the show. Ten dollars means, I love the show. And twenty dollars means, I had sex with the show. <laughs> so please come down and have sex with the Well, you all right? <laughs> I did a lot of coke. Oh. Well, that really is Valley Girl. Yeah, it's Valley Girl. <laughs> so please do come down and have sex with the show, except for you, little one. And, uh, <laughs> and because you actually get a free DVD with that. How often does that happen? Every time with me. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, guys, if you can't afford it, we understand. Don't feel like you need to sneak off at the end and like skirt around the edges. Just come up to us, shake our hands, tell us you like the show. It means a whole lot to us. We love you guys. We're so happy to teach you new vocabulary. <laughs> I'm Richard. I'm Patrick. And I'm hung like a horse. Together we are. <laughs> and Fury. Thank you. God bless you guys. I'm right here, and our poster girl is over there with DVDs, penis flags, and...